Now at 6, within the next hour or so, leaders at Fort Wayne Community Schools will vote on schedule and transportation changes that will impact about 35,000 students and staff members. Good evening. I'm Mark Bellinger. And I'm Heather Herron. FWCS school board members are talking right now about whether to cut bus service to thousands of kids next year. This change is a result of property tax caps, commonly known as the circuit breaker. State lawmakers passed those caps in 2008, and voters approved them in 2010. Since then, the caps have cut $9 million from FWCS's transportation budget. News Channel 15's Megan Royce joins us now from the Grial Administration Center over on Clinton Street. She has the latest. Megan? In a matter of minutes here at the Administration Center, Leaders are expected to make big transportation cuts, and I can tell you after talking with several school board members, this will not be an easy decision for them to make, but uh, they don't have many options since voters passed property tax caps in 2008. If they choose to pass the transportation plan, it would cut the $2.5 million and balance the transportation budget. The plan comprises of the creation of transportation zones and also adjusting school start times. For example, high school students under this plan would start an hour and a half later than what they currently do. And again, we'll be here for the meeting that's starting in just a matter of minutes and update you as soon as possible on Wayne.com and, of course, on Nightcast at 11. And just a reminder, if they pass this plan, these changes would not go into effect until next school year. Reporting live along Clinton Street, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.